Hello everybody, welcome to this week's New Moon reading. New Moon today, June 4th, 2016. This, um, boy, this is going to be a big one. Okay, so as I was pulling the cards, I was, I was looking at the planetary alignments. I looked at the chart of the moment. Bugs. Um, looked at the chart of the moment, and what I saw was right now the new, the sun... Um, and the moon are cuddling Venus right in the middle, the planet of love, beauty, a whole new way of looking at life. The two illuminaries of the sky, the sun and the moon, are hugging love. They're on either side of love. And then by 11 p.m. Eastern tonight, the moon nestles up with the sun, right next to the sun. That's what makes the new moon when they're together. So they'll all be at varying minutes, it's called. Those are the, um, the portions of the degrees within the zodiac sign. All three, Venus, the Sun, and the Moon, will all be at varying minutes of 14 degrees of uh, Gemini. So the Sabian symbol, as I put in the, in the card listing, was two Dutch children talking and studying their lessons together. And the other interesting thing about, there's multiple things with this new moon that make it powerful. Uh, Saturn is standing across the sky in opposition to the sun and the moon at this time. So there's something karmically, a karmic release that is going on. Um, it's the potential for a release. And I would say that that is key to this new moon message. Um, in addition, there, that, that opposition is part of what's called a grand cross in the sky. So there's a lot of activity, a lot of opposing forces pushing and pulling at each other. Um, it can feel a little chaotic and a little uh, ungrounded at times. However, that grand trine in Earth, all three of the Earth signs are connected in a perfect triangle, is keeping us grounded. So... We're not flying off the handle like we might with any other Grand Cross that doesn't have a Grand Trine in Earth. Um, so this is good news. Uh, we can really use this energy to our advantage, I feel, with this new moon. Okay, With this Sabian symbol about two Dutch children talking and studying their lessons together, um, that's the degree point of where this new moon is happening. And I just, I mostly feel that this is about connection to another person, a tribe, or potentially within yourself, your connection to your spiritual self, your higher self wisdom. And that, that is just as powerful a connection as with another single person or a tribe. But it could be any one of those three, or it could be all of those three. Um, that are playing out with this, okay? So I feel that connection is important in this coming 28 days. And think about who is that person or that relationship for you. And who, you know, what are the things that you can talk about and you can like solve the problems of the world? I have certain people that I always say that at the end of our conversations. Okay, we've solved the, all those problems of the world today. Who is that person or set of people that it is for you? And or do you have that within yourself, within your relationship to your uh, higher self aspect? Do you have that access to that wisdom and feel it starting to build? Because I think some of you do. I think some of you absolutely do and have had it for a long time, but it's like it's being recognized now. And that you're able to talk with these people about a subject in the coming um, month over the next 28 day cycle. This reading is about what, what could you focus on to solve all the problems of the world. Um, you, those conversations may very well solve a lot of problems of the world. It's no coincidence I'm saying that. We're in a big time of upheaval right now. And a lot of people are having their world turns upside down. And this year has been doing that quite a bit for everybody. And I hear that through other channels as well. Um, other astrologers that I listen to as well too. So 
what can we do? What can we talk about? What could we focus on in this new moon cycle? And as we're setting our intentions um, to really shift things for ourselves and for the collective, because everybody is intertwined. Those energies are all intertwined. There's very common threads that run through all of us. And the events on world level or, you know, nation level are certainly unifying as well and have people kind of kicked up in a fervor as um, that energy goes out and it, we're all affected by that. So how can we change the beauty of Gemini is the great thinker, the curious thinker. This is about using the mind with the heart you know this is the connection to that soul self as well the combo cannot be beat mind with heart that's a winning combination so it's how can we use that curiosity of gemini to really think about a new perspective maybe or to at least be talking about it with people um, in whatever way feels comfortable so that's what the subjects of the cards are okay is about that topic or that area of study that you as one of the two Dutch children um, can study and talk about in, in with complete trust. That's the other thing is knowing that these people aren't going to think you're crazy. They're, they're encouraging and can only augment your thinking on this. So for those that chose Life Purpose deck by Doreen Virtue, you're going to laugh about all these cards because everybody's pretty much getting the same thing. It's pretty funny to me. Let go. What it says on here is walk away from this situation in order to resolve it. The people or the person that's closest to you, that childhood friend, um, that spouse, whatever it may be, your higher self, your team, how can you talk about, how can you begin to think about and be curious about what life would be like if you just let go and you just allow things to happen. You do the things you have to do to get through your day, but you trust that things just kind of come into place, you know, where you're bowing down. Look at that unicorn. You're bowing down, just waiting for this abundant flow, for this um, certainty of well-being to come to you. What if? Th that's the big thing about this new moon. What if? That's what these are about. What if you just choose to spend time in enjoyment? This woman's just holding her dog, looking very peaceful. The horse is bowing down, her head is bowed. She's not up and looking like bug-eyed, like where am I gonna go next? And how am I gonna do this? And what if that doesn't happen? And that person's no good and they make it hard for me. What if you just let all of that go? What if you just enjoyed, truly savored your day? What if you did a little experiment a few times this coming month and you do that practice where you just savor what you're experiencing and you look forward to the next thing and the next thing without thinking about what has just happened, without thinking about what's going to happen. You don't know what's going to happen without getting too far ahead of yourself or too far behind yourself. You're right here right here right now and you're just enjoying what if you did that what if you tried that out that's kind of what your your friends you know your team is wanting to bring up like what if you just let go let loose of the reins or better yet don't even have a saddle on and have don't have the big fancy bridle and all that what if you just keep it simple you know, so just something to contemplate. That's what this is about. And this is karmically related. There's something karmically here about these cards that it feels like there might be a real tendency of, to want to shape things and to want to really crank it down. But 
your team is is kind of bringing through that they just can't get as much of the well-being that you're you're absolutely deserving of it's birthright stuff this is table stakes you you deserve it and but you have to wake up and say i deserve it okay so as soon as we let go a little bit of trying to crank down on all the situations and trying to you know absolutely know what the outcome will be um, then we can allow more flow to happen okay so big topic that's a big topic and all of these cards have shades of that i will tell you all right horse card is up next this is from the way of the horse deck you get the last card in the deck see this is not little stuff with this new moon illumination look at that beautiful at the end of an adventurous day, a golden palomino glows in the light of the setting sun. This card is about enlightened perspective, wisdom activated through experience, and expanded awareness. So what if you knew that all the experience that you've gained thus far is all you need? What if you don't need to study anything more? What if you don't need to get another certification? What if you just trust that everything that you need is within you already and you have gained it through every experience you've had, through every uh, moment of 2020 vision that happens once we've been through something and you look back on it and you say, oh, geez, yep, next time, this is the way I'm going to do that every ounce of those things matters big time for your wisdom so for you that chose this card it's really the gift of this message i'm going to read it to you because it's so beautiful the experience you gained radiates wisdom lighting the way for others but the challenge can be students of life learn to embrace its unpredictability sometimes difficult lessons so it's about rolling with the punches. What if, what if I just roll with the punches and if I don't have the wisdom for something, then I trust that I'm gonna be led to the right thing, that the right information, the right resource, the right person, the right situation, whatever it is, is just, it's going to happen. What if? Do you feel how big this new moon is? This is big energy. It's a very, um, you know, kind of cutesy symbol that we're dealing with, with these two Dutch children. But it's a really about connection and what if you start talking in this way? What if you start talking like, you know, I, I do, I am an enlightened person. Because those who picked this card, guess what? You are. You absolutely are. Everybody who's taking part in this reading has these kinds of messages. So just tr it, it's trusting in that wisdom. Trusting and knowing that you've got it all within you and that you don't need to worry about what you do or don't know. Because it will be served up to you if you don't already have it but chances are you've got a good bit of it under your belt already. Okay, beautiful. Then the last card is from the Angel Tarot deck by Doreen Virtue. And <laughs> you get the release card. Archangel Azrael. The end of a phase or situation. Spiritual transformation. Time to move on. What if... You never spoke about all the hurts of the past ever again. That's immediately what I'm getting on this. What if you just let them all go? Can you see there's the same similar theme to all of this? It is trust. It is that what if proposition. It is what if it's nothing but a golden path ahead? What if I trust that that's really where I'm headed? What if I know that I, that I don't ever have to go back in that dark hole again? That I don't ever have to sit and worry about money again? Or worry about 
the pain that I've experienced in the past? What if I just decide that this is the moment that I'm going to take the first step on the path to move forward? These are all big cards. Big cards. This is, I mean, the, let go. It is so hard to surrender like that, but, but just profound when it happens. Illumination, last card of the deck. That wisdom builds up as you move through the way of the horse deck. And this is the very massive uh, tarot message of complete release of all of that past karma, of all of that past who you thought you were, how you thought you needed to live your life, how you thought things needed to be, that you needed to do this or you should do this or any of those rules and regulations that you were raised on, um, anything that you formed in your mind, you're a different person now. That's what this grand cross in the sky is like, oh no, oh no, everything changes here. We're gonna just pull it apart. It's a box with, with a cross in it. They're like, everything's getting like, boom, just splinter it apart, divinely so. Because as we fall apart, we come back together that much more strong because we have all that wisdom built up and all that energy where it's been fallen away and now it's coming back up. And that's what this is. It's definitely Phoenix rising from the ashes. But it's like, you don't even need to go down into the ashes. Like, never mind that. It's just Phoenix appearing and soaring. That's what I get out of this. It's that the pain of the past can truly be of the past if you wish it to if you choose for that to be the way that you look at your life what if what if i let go of all of that what if today is a completely new day with this new moon with this new cycle we're basically halfway through the year we got another half year in this nine year of cleanup. This is cleanup work so that we can hit the ground running in 2017, a one universal year. We're starting fresh people. So we're halfway through. Where are you at on your cleanup? Who do you wanna be? How do you want next year to be setting you up? These cards are, couldn't be more clear about this is game time. Take on the attitude that you wish to be true because as you, as you own it and you live it and you say it and you proclaim it to that one, you're one of two Dutch children here. As you proclaim it to the people who you are closest to, who hold your secrets and don't look at you funny when you say crazy things. As you proclaim these things, they are, they come into being. Those people who are closest to you, including your individual self, your own sense of well-being and knowing about you. As you come into uh, talking about these things, those people can make it so for you because they validate it for you or they challenge you and say, I don't know, Kat, have you thought about this? and they just help you hone it. These are very important people in our lives, the, the, those that are, we consider to be those kind of soulmates, whether they're friends or tribe members, as I like to call it, um, spouse, deep, dear, dear friends, family, uh, but also self. Um, hone it, hone it, hone it. That's what we're doing the next six months. But this month, this new moon is about our right. Now, we're going to wake up. What if, what if we took on this mindset that these cards have outlined? What if, okay? Because it can be a whole new day. And that other Dutch child who's your friend, who's helping you study as seen in that Sabian symbol, is just going to help you make it better and better and better, okay? And you're, you're going to just fly when we get into 2017. All right, that's it. A lot of... Woo! Kick me up energy this, for this new moon. 
Um, and if you would like a new moon reading, you can check out my website on details for that under the specials section. Um, happy to do those anytime for people. So without further ado, have a great new moon and set your intentions and think about this topic as you're setting your intentions of how do I want to shape this month? How, what do I want to try? How do I want to start honing this? Take care. Bye-bye.